Hi, Dan. I'm standing here along the famous Kalakaua Avenue where crowds are set to line the street here in several hours from now, six o'clock Hawaii time for that parade as they will gather with American flags in celebration of those veterans and their service to our country through the years. It will truly be a living memorial, giving people of all ages, all walks of life, the opportunity to stand alongside members of our greatest generation and to thank them for their many years of service. Right now, the Colbert County Band, well, those band members are making their final preps in anticipation of tonight's big event. They want to make sure their appearance is in top shape. They want this to be as perfect as they can make it. They say they are excited, a little nervous to march, but they want to make sure everyone back home and of course all the veterans and their families here are proud of them and what they have accomplished thus far and, and what they've had to do to make it here. And you know, for school leaders, we caught up with them before we left to Hawaii. They tell us that tonight it's the moment they've all been waiting for. It's really created something that we're not used to and, and we've never seen before. North Alabama is on the map thanks to the passion and level of commitment from the students at Colbert County High School. This is an opportunity some of them will cherish for the rest of their life. For automotive technology teacher and Army veteran Joseph Bennett, he's thrilled to see his students represented on an international stage. They can do anything and that they set their mind to if they're willing to make the sacrifices needed. A sentiment echoed by Air Force veteran and computer science teacher Mike Ricketts. I mean, me as a veteran, I just think it's important some of these kids to see part of history. It's just important that they can see the past, uh, honor some of these veterans before they're gone. We have very few World War II veterans left. We're not only representing our community and our school, but we're representing our state and we're representing you know, the southeastern United States. School leaders hope this opportunity will inspire others. No matter where you come from, you know, there are opportunities out there if you're willing to work for them, if you're willing to uh, discipline yourself, do what it takes to work hard uh, and earn the right to participate in those opportunities that anything can happen. And it's one of the great things about our country. Uh, one of the the parts about freedom that I appreciate and I hope these kids learn to appreciate as well is that, you know, anything's possible. Anything is possible. You know, Assistant Principal Lee Kraft and Superintendent Chris Hand are here. We talked with them over the last several days, as well as all the chaperones and staff. And the big common theme here, Alex Torres Perez and I have been talking with them. It's have you prepared yourself for the moment that we see the Colbert County Band playing those patriotic songs, marching down the street? Are they prepared for what that moment will bring? I, I'll tell you what, I have goosebumps just thinking about it. It is going to be very meaningful. Uh, we're ready for an emotional night, a lot of happy tears, a lot of tears of just gratitude going to these veterans, these families, and they, everyone understanding really what it is and why we're here today. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll take a closer look at some of the other ceremonies that took place back in North Alabama. And also I'll introduce you to a couple of people, a very special couple who helped make this trip possible for the Colbert County High School Band. For now, reporting live in Hawaii, Marie Waxel, Way 31 News.